Hey, it's Brickzar, and it's time for Bat, Brickzar answer thingy. And our question today comes from Matthew O'Brien, and it is such a good question that I want to give it its own video uh, because I like the question so much. The question that Matthew asks is, what is your favorite Lego train from each era? And then he lists the 4.5 volt, 12 volt, 9 volt, remote control and power function. But I'm going to even add more to it than that. So I'm going to break it down to each of the different eras and also include some push trains and some other types of trains. And to begin with, I'm going to start with the oldest one first here, and it's from the blue track era before they really put motors in the trains. It is set 080, the ambassador set are also known as the basic building set with train. I really like this set. It's kind of funny in a lot of ways, and I want to review it. I have it. I just haven't got around to reviewing it yet, but it's a neat-looking set. And the next one we'll look at is also from the Blue Track era, and this is a 4.5-volt train. It is the electronic train set 118. I also have this one, although I have not tested it yet. Um, this one has an electronic unit that responds to claps or whistles. So it's a pretty neat set for the time. It came out in 1968 and it's my favorite of the motorized four and a half volt trains from the blue track era. And next we'll do the 12 volt blue track and this is set 725. It's my favorite of the uh, center rail 12 volt um, trains from the blue track era. It's a freight train. It's kind of like a steam locomotive and tender and some freight cars and that's my favorite of the uh, blue track era. And I also have this set and I have not reviewed it yet uh, so I'll get around to doing that eventually. And so next uh, we get to the gray track themes or sets and the 12 volt set with the gray track that is my favorite is this one, 7745. It's the uh, high speed City Express. It's a uh, TGV style train. And I also have done a review of this one, so I do have that. I put a link in the description below uh, to the video for this one. Now, as far as in the 4.5 volt range for the Gray track era. This is the only train. I mean, it's the battery train set 7722. This is the only train set we really had here in the United States. I do remember seeing this in Lionel Playworld um, when I was a teenager, but it's I don't even like this train set, so it can't really be my favorite, but it's the only four and a half volt. So I guess I'll have to go with one of the other accessories, um, which will be the train station set 7822. This is a neat little train station. Not the best one in the world, but there's you don't have a lot of choices in the 4.5 volt uh, gray track era. So I'm going to pick uh, this train station here. It's set 7822. And I'm going to leave out some of the other the push trains from the, um, the gray track era. And now we get to the 9 volt era. And this one's not even really a motorized train. It's the club car set 4547. I have a review of this one and the Metro Liner uh, that goes along with it, but I just like the club car. It's just a, a classic uh, train accessory. It's just a neat little car, and y'all, you got to have extras of it, and it goes great with the Metro Liner. And it's really hard for me to narrow down one of the 9-volt trains that I like. There are several of them that I really like, but I'll just say the club car. So next we'll go to the RC train. And to me, RC train and power functions train are essentially the same thing. I know you have a different controller uh, for the RC train. Uh, the track is identical. Uh, it's just your motor and your controller are different. But anyway, this one is set... Um, I always forget the number, 7898, the cargo train deluxe. This one was really cool because you got so many cars. You got more freight cars than in a normal Lego train set, plus a larger oval of track. But that's because Lego was getting into this uh, track that didn't have the metal on the rails, so 
it was a little uh, cheaper for them to produce, so we got some pretty cool sets. But the RC trains didn't last long until they switched it to power functions. So now we'll go to my favorite power functions train. And that, of course, would be the Horizon Express, which I have done a couple of videos of it. Uh, it's interesting, if you go to BrickLink, it's under RC train. So, I mean, basically, these trains come without a motor, some of them, and then you just add a motor and a battery unit. So, uh, to me, the power functions in RC train really are in the same category, but some people want to distinguish, so I went ahead and picked one from each category. And that pretty much covers most of the regular type train sets. Now we'll go to the monorail. Now there are really only three monorail sets, two track accessory sets, and a few service packs even related to monorail. So basically if you're choosing your favorite monorail sets, it's either the airport shuttle, which I'm showing here, or the uh, two space shuttles. There's two different ones. And the one space one has more functionality with the track. It has the switch tracks. But this one, the airport shuttle, uh, I'll have to say is my favorite. And I have a review of it up, up as well. So next we'll go to the narrow gauge um, type sets. That is sets that have the tracks like this. They're in the mine set. Now none of them really make a layout like an oval or where you can have a circuit, complete circuit. And they don't make a straight track section. Usually the straight track is like they did here in the mine. It's just a couple of rails uh, spaced closer together. But uh, I like this set uh, best of, of those. I mean, you could throw in, I guess, the, um, some Batman sets and uh, Indiana Jones set to have this narrow gauge, but this is my favorite. And I can't talk about trains without mentioning my Duplo trains. And this is my favorite Duplo train simply because this is one that I had when the kids were little. And it's really what got us into the Duplo train. It's set 2933, which is a um, deluxe train. Every Duplo train seems to be called deluxe train. So but anyway, this was uh, the one that got us into it. So that covers most of the different train sets. Now, uh, Matthew O'Brien also asked, how many train sets do I have? And I do not know the exact total. I went through and made a quick list of some of the ones I knew I had. And before I even got into the meat of the collection, I was already in over 100. So I'm thinking probably got around 200 train sets, including duplicates. Um, I will know better as I do these reviews and uh, go th from there you know it's like you know I got duplicates like a, the Santa Fe train there's seven total sets there just making up the Santa Fe train I have uh, like four copies of set 111 which is one of the early starter train sets so I got a lot of duplicates of some of the stuff uh, but I have well over a hundred different train sets and probably closer to 200 um, total train sets. So that was a good question. I really like it. I'm showing this here, the old train from 1967, since this is one of the early train sets. Uh, I want to review it. Um, this may inspire me to go ahead and get it out. If any of the train sets you've seen here you want me to review, hey, put it in the comments below and I will try to get around to doing that. Uh, it gives me incentive when I know there's a lot of people that want to see a particular set, so I got quite a few train sets that I have not yet reviewed. I know Mardi Gras Man 2 3's kind of uh, pushed me along, helped uh, motivated me to do things like I did the uh, Maersk train uh, because he kept asking. And so, you know, if there's any of the train sets I've talked about in other videos or mentioned in this video you want me to review, uh, let me know and I will dig them out of the basement and set them up and review them and also uh, I'll put links in the description below to all the sets that were in this video that I've already reviewed so thanks for watching uh, keep those back questions coming I really like this question by Matthew O'Brien these are kind of questions that um, I like to make just a special video for it so thanks a lot for the good question and uh, if I've missed your question uh, be patient with me. You may have to ask it again. 
and I will try to get to as many of the questions as possible. So thanks for watching Brickzar Answer Thingy and this train special.